Hello and welcome back to our channel and Happy New Year! Happy New Year guys, obviously this is our first video of 2023. Today we're going to be doing a painting by numbers challenge and we're going to be making our own January calendars. And all the artwork that we use today we are going to make available to you guys for free in the form of a digital download from our shop. So everything that we do today you can also do at home. Okay guys, so it is Jamie and myself today doing the painting. The girls have gone back to school, they're really busy. Actually Rayleigh has her mocks at the moment so she's really kind of doing lots of revision. So we are kind of jumping on here to yeah, do some painted by numbers. But you may see the girls later when they come home from school, they might appear in the video at some point. Yes, that would be nice. If it's your first time watching us and you like anything to do with art, design, craft or DIY, then please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and really, really important, hit the notification bell because we're going to be posting a lot of additional content in 2023 this year. Yes, we normally post on a Monday at five, but there's going to be other content, so please make sure you're notified. So we have designed two A4 calendars. Well, one's A4, but it kind of folds up into A6. So basically this is the A4 calendar and we've designed it in four colors. We have also designed a, you print it on an A4 sheet, which we'll show you later. You actually fold this up and it acts as a kind of an A6 calendar, which sits by your desk. Yeah, so essentially we've got a range of a4 wall calendars and A4 that fold up into A6 desk calendars. That's right, yeah. And the great thing about these calendars is they are art calendars. So basically, they all have painting by numbers templates on them. So you guys can obviously create some artwork and hopefully this will be something that you can reuse. You can cut the artwork out at the end. So we haven't actually done this yet. We've got a range of different coloured calendars all printed out on different types of paper and we're going to see what we can do with them and we're going to share that with you. January is butterfly. Not sure what February will be yet but when we put that together we'll make sure to let you know. Yeah so again guys these will be available for free to download on our shop which is our studios.co.uk the link will be in the description and following this month we will then make other ones available on the shop so you can obviously every month have a new piece of artwork for the the season or the the calendar so we're going to start by showing you the a6 desk calendar and basically guys, as you can see, this is printed out on a A4 sheet, so that's what you will download. However, it folds really nicely into an A6 calendar and has little, little kind of information bits, which we will show you at the end when they're finished. And we've printed them different ones out on different papers, which you guys can do. So you can use plain copy paper. That one is watercolor. And these cards as well. You can print them on any paper when you've got the download. So we've decided that we're going to do these separately of each other so that we can explore a range of ideas for you guys. Um, so are we going to do more than one for this round? Yeah, I think so. I think we've okay. got a few different examples that we can choose from. Okay, let's do it. I've chosen two of the red templates for my A6 calendar. I've got one which is printed on just A4 copy paper, which you can see. And the other one is printed on watercolour paper. So this will make a really nice rigid desk calendar when it's folded. So for my A6 desk calendar, I've chosen two red card templates. One is a white card template and the other is a cream card template. For the first one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So for my first desk calendar, I'm going to be using this white card. And with it, I'm going to be using this single red fine liner pen. I've just grabbed Ruby's shading pencils. And what I'm going to do is, rather than painting lighter shades, I'm actually going to be shading in pencils and creating a lighter shade of pencil. I'm hoping that if I'm really careful and use some accurate line techniques, I'll be able to create the difference in red tone and I'll be using the number guide to help me do that. Okay, so let's do some colouring by numbers.
this is what it's looking like so far and I think the pencils just work so well. The pens go onto the paper really, really nicely. Really enjoying it. First calendar done, can't wait to show you guys. The pencil works so well and so easy. On to my second one now and this one again I'm going to use watercolour paper and red paint with lots of white. I'm moving on to the second desk calendar which I am doing in paints. I'm going to be using our scarlet red, carbon black and titanium white. I'm going to really water down my paint for this one so they act as watercolours because obviously I have got watercolour paper. Finally finished our A6 calendars and we haven't seen, uh, we've been making sure that we haven't actually seen what each other's done so I'm really excited about this. I don't even know what colour you've chosen so. I'm really excited about it as well and this is just such a lovely thing to do. I really enjoyed it and I'm really happy with the way it went. It didn't take that long guys, it took, well my first one took about an hour, I think the second one and this was kind of a test run for us wasn't it really? Because obviously yeah. we're going to give them to you guys for free mm -hmm. to use. We want to make sure that they yeah. work. It which definitely they do. works and they look absolutely <laughs> lovely. So they do. The first one I used pencil. Oh so okay, you know. yeah, that's interesting. I did the red one. Red pencil? I did put some red pencil in it, yep. That's it. Okay, three, two, one. I'm going to sit it on the table. Oh, wow, like that's that. lovely. That's really nice. <laughs> it's really nice in pencil. Yeah, it yeah. was really, really easy. Really nice. Yeah, really nice. Love it. So a tip if you are going to use pencil or even paint is I did the black first. I started with the black and use a 5B pencil and then I kind of, for the for the lighter ones, ended up with a H for the plus three. So you moved down a grade. I moved down a grade, yeah. <coughs> there you go guys, that's mine. So really this nice. is a pencil. Okay, it's painting by number but painted by pencil. And I did also a little bit of red. And this is just plain copier paper which you guys will have at home so yeah so when you get the download it will be like that without mm -hmm. the colouring on it obviously it's all ready for you to fold in half then fold in half again and the great thing is it sits on the desk and then when you open it like that you've got dates to remember and also holidays and notes but basically when you finished as well you can also reuse it and kind of frame that I think yeah if you're yeah. Proud of it. yeah absolutely yeah, yours Jamie all right well exciting I really enjoyed this one this yeah. first one um, okay, so three, two, one. Da -da. Oh, you did red! So I did red, <laughs> red pen. Red pen? Yeah, on white card. Oh, so okay. So if you open it right out. Oh, that's nice. Like that, look. Oh, that is lovely. And then it folds down like that. Oh, that is, this is just plain white card. Oh, so you've just done like stripe. That is lovely. Yeah, lines with Oh, ruler. wow. Yeah. I would never have thought of using pen. No, the pen was really nice to work with, really nice. It was a fine liner pen, oh, um, lovely. just really easy to hold and on that paper, the paper just kind of sucked up all the ink really yeah, nicely. There yeah. was no bleeding, so you got really nice clean lines. Thoroughly enjoyed that, completely immersed myself in that and will be doing a whole lot of other ones I think. Yeah, so guys that's a really good idea isn't it? So you can not only do these in paints but you can do them in pens mm -hmm. and pencils as well. And we both did red. Yeah, <laughs> we both did red although yours is grey. So. Yeah. Okay, so the second one I painted um, okay. and I, I tried to do it like... So did I actually, I'll just tell you, you that, I painted and it And I did the well. red again. <laughs> So did I. <laughs> what is it about the red? I, mean, I kind of just wanted to see what I could do with the red. Yeah. I, yeah, well I really like the red. So I wanted to try and do like a wash. A wash? Like a watercolour, like a water like water, but I did use the paint. Version. Yeah, I watered yeah. it down. Really, really love this. Okay, three, two, one. Wow, that Isn't is it lovely. Nice? That's I really, really like lovely. it. Yeah. Look yeah. at that guys. That's so, what it looks like in water, well paint watered paint, paint yeah. and water. Um, and then yeah I just put lots of water and basically it was more about me kind of moving the paint around rather than you know painting it. So this is more like a sketchy one mm. isn't it? Okay right. Jamie, so, let me see your fat bits. Are we going to count? Really prop, yeah. Three, two, one. Ta -da! 
I haven't folded it yet. Oh, oh wow. I haven't folded oh, it yet. Oh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? So this is this is interesting, right? Because oh. this is acrylic paint, neat yep. acrylic paint with no water. Yeah. No water? No water, no. On a cream or slightly off-white paper. Because this has a tiny bit of white in it on the spots of the butterflies. And I really wanted to see how the white contrasts oh, with yes. the off-white paper, which it does. So it kind of pops a little bit, which it is quite does. nice. And yeah. It just gives it that kind of extra sort of... Ooh. Yeah, it's nice. He painted the white. I didn't paint the white, I just left it. That is <laughs> mm -hmm. so nice, Jamie. Really so nice. So I folded that one now. Really, really nice. Okay, guys, so this is our collection of um, A6 desk calendars, which you guys, like I say, after the video, go to our shop and download the template and if you do do some artwork and have Instagram please tag us because I'd love to see what you guys can do with this. So this gives you a good idea of what you can do with um, coloured pen, yeah, pencil, mm -hmm. watercolour or mm -hmm. watered acrylic or neat acrylic. Yes. Okay guys so before we move on to the A4 calendar we've asked Ruby to come down, Rayleigh is revising to get her feedback so she's obviously seen the calendars before but not actually finished. Not decorated. Not decorated and she doesn't know whose is whose. We've done two each and um, we'd like to know what you think, what? medium you think. Mm. Right so one two three, da da! Okay oh. so don't mention who's is who's maybe. No, we've got, mm. obviously they sit, as you know, they sit on a desk like oh, this that. This is pencil. Yeah. This is pencil and this is paint. Yeah, that's paint there. That's pens. Mm -hmm. Watercolours. Yeah. Oh, I've got it all right. The one that stands out the most is definitely the pen. Yes. Yeah, I yes. think I that's, agree. I actually yeah. think the pen is really cool. I agree. Because from afar, it looks just like paint, the paint one. Yeah. But up close, it's like this really cool, different stripey detailing. Mm. Yeah. I think that that's my favourite, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. I think the pen's is also a cool take on it, but I don't think it stands out as much. No. This is kind of the, the I guess, the most easiest for people to do at home because everyone's got a pencil. Still mm. looks nice I thought in pencil. It does, that's cool. Um, the paint's nice, it's quite um, simple I guess. Yeah. But I also really like the watercolour, I think that's quite nice because it's quite um, light and yes, it's pretty. So pen wins it. I, pen I wins like it. the pen, I think it's Second watercolour first is mm -hmm. pe mm, pens, mm -hmm. second is watercolour. These two come in a joint third. Yeah. Because I think they're both really different, but they're not. Yes. It's all really, I like it a lot. It looks really good. On to the A4 wall calendars, and we have printed these out in, again, a variety of different colours and papers. Um, and these don't fold. These just come as they are, and then obviously you can hang them or stick them on a wall. If you do, when you download these, if you print them out on copy paper, you can back them. Yes, um, you can, that would be nice. Some of these are nice cards again. Yeah. So, I know what I'm going to choose now. Shall we go off and um, have a go and see what we can do with it? Yeah, let's do it. For my A4 calendar, I'm going to paint it in blue. So I've chosen the blue calendar, which again is painted on a really nice cartridge paper. For my wall calendar, I'm choosing this paper. Really, really liked this off-white card. So I've got my blue paint here and then a white and a black. And basically I'm going to paint this lots of different shades. I'm going to be using fine liner pens again. But this time I'm not using red. I'm going to use blue, yellow and green. So I'm going to start with the black as the previous ones and I've mixed up a really kind of watery acrylic there and I'm going to start by painting all the bodies. Really happy with it. I thought this time what I'd try is three different colours and actually for each of the three colours I've got two grades of that colour. So for example with the blue I've got a dark blue and a light blue. Anyway it's looking interesting. I think it'll be really bright and colourful. So that's how it's looking so far with just the black painted. Now I'm going to use the blue mixed with some white and painting all the tones. Okay 
Okay guys, so we finished the A4 wall calendars now and yeah, really excited to see yours. How um, did it go? I really like it. I painted it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've painted it. Um, um, should I say? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I didn't paint it. You didn't paint <laughs> no, it? No, I didn't paint oh, it. Oh, but we were painting this, okay. No, no, I did something different because of what happened in the previous round. You know, when Ruby was talking about what she liked best. Ah, so you've done it in pens. Yes. Ah, pens. oh, okay. But with a twist. Right, so, yes, I've done it and I chose blue. Ah, nice, okay. So, close your eyes. Three, two, one. Okay, so that is mine and I really love it. <gasps> Isn't oh, it nice? It's really nice it's, in blue. It is nice in blue. Really matches your shirt. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> it does, is that why you did it? Well, no, but yeah, actually that would look really nice in our kitchen because we've got a painted... Mm kitchen in blue haven't we yeah it's a lot darker than that but it would fit in nicely it would yeah. so there you go guys i actually painted it in well the acrylics i did put some water not like yourself that mm -hmm. just kind of did the thicker but it it works really well yeah it's really well done i did the black first wow. and once you've done the black you're away really good job thank you yay should we get on to mine quickly yes yeah? yes three two one and you! Oh my gosh! Yeah. You've done three colours! I've done, th well, four colours oh, actually. Wow, can I see that? Yeah. That is amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's really, oh, so you've got like, you've got the four colours on there. Mm. Yeah, wow. so obviously it's in red. So that's the red, that's the blue, that's the yellow, and that's the green. I thought, because Ruby said that she really liked the pen, Yes, version yeah, of yeah. The, um, the desk calendar, mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed doing it in pen. So I thought, I'll do it in all the three colours. Okay guys, so these are our final A4 January painted by numbers wall calendars. Really love these. I'm really happy that we can share these with you. Absolutely. So now that we've done that, get yourself over to our website, which is www.rstudios.co.uk, links in the description below. And download yourself either a wall calendar for January or a desk calendar. Okay guys, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed our video and again, go and get these free templates. We'll see you really soon for some more creative ideas. Until then, bye. Bye.